Hey guys, welcome to Supercars of London and a very windy and freezing start. I am filming this on the day of the upload because yesterday you may have seen that I headed to Dub Customs and Gad Tuning for some work on this bad boy. Let's jump in and quickly talk to you about it because it is freezing out. Yesterday I headed over to Essex and Gad Tuning which was a lot of fun. Check out the footage that I was able to get yesterday. Unfortunately we lost light which is why I'm filming now because after I show you these clips I'm going to take this beast out for a drive even though the tyres are cold the tarmac's cold and slightly damp as well. Let's have some fun with the car and hopefully I'll be able to see some differences in the remap and also the Michelin Pilot Super Sport tyres that are on this car. So um, check this out. What's up guys? Welcome to Supercars of London and a long journey today in the Lambo. I'm really excited. I'm heading over to Dub Customs in Gad Tuning today for two reasons. I'm seeing both of the guys down there. Gad Tuning, I wanted to try and get my car running perfectly for when I was down in Monaco for the road trip. However, we ran out of time before and because I've had the full Army Tricks exhaust system, we need to make sure that the engine is running in sync with the new exhaust system. So Gad Tuning are gonna be doing a little bit with my car today. He's gonna to explain a lot more in the video and hopefully we can get a lot more on camera. Once my engine is running as optimum as it possibly can do with the new exhaust system, Dub Customs are gonna be changing the tires that I've got on the car. So at the moment, I'm running very, very low and close to the legal limit of how much tread you're allowed in your tires, which is proving a bit difficult when you're driving in the wet in the UK. Now, to put it into perspective, these white lines that separate each lane on the motorway, every time I go over them in the wet, my tires slip over them, which is not good. It's also a four-wheel drive car, so it needs front-wheel grip to get off the mark and also to go around corners. I don't have any of that, which is making it very, very unenjoyable to drive this car, which is why over the last week and a half, I haven't particularly done so. So, we are gonna get some brand new Michelin tires put onto the car. I think they're the same style as Sam's. I'm just not going for the tire writer because this car looks too stock, it looks too OEM, it looks too factory to have tire writing on the car yet. So let's head over to Dub Customs and Gad Tune and catch up with the guys, see what cars they've got in and get this baby performing how it should. Not only are we gonna have more power in this car, we're also gonna have new tires to be able to put the power down onto the road, which I'm thoroughly excited about seeing the transformation that this car is gonna have. So let's go. tell by the recognizable surroundings I am down now at Dub Customs and of course they've got C63 they've got the Gadmobile and over there they've got a baby blue Aston Martin Vantage which is very very well known in London so I'm gonna try and find it over here I love the color don't know where I love it from it reminds me of my R8 and it looks so cool as well nice tints that is nice and today my car is in company with a 16M Ferrari Scuderia 430 16M, which is the convertible Scuderia. Um, also an F40, a couple of Aston Martins inside, an Ultima, a couple of C63. So let's head inside, check out what's going on with my car. So to keep my car movable whilst it has the wheels off, we're putting some spare R8 wheels on the car, which definitely look interesting. That is weird. So this is the R8 
R8 Bicolori, and this is my front tire. And as you can see, not much grip left. So thankfully, we're getting new ones. So here we go. Michelin Pilot Supersport for, oh look how much grip they're gonna have. These are gonna be an incredible addition to my car. And it wouldn't be a trip to Dub Customs without me using their office as an editing suite. So I'm gonna get my laptop out, get set up, and probably spend a lot of time working out what color to wrap my car, because they've got all of these things. So now the wonderful Gad Tuning, Anthony is working his magic and speaking to the car. You're communicating with the car. Tell me what you're doing and why you're making my car better with the exhaust system. So what we're doing is the, the Gallardo is very much like your R8, yeah. runs two ECUs. Right, okay. An ECU controls one bank, another ECU controls the other. So they're, they're hidden away under scuttle panels and stuff, but literally there is an ECU under here that controls this side and an ECU under that controls that side. So at the minute we're communicating pull all the data off of both ECUs. Um, obviously then we can manipulate the, the software, obviously because we've got the new exhaust, we've just dropped the air filters into it. Um, you know, we've so basically got to recalibrate the ECUs for for emissions and obviously. So it's gonna be, it's forms. gonna be, yeah, running healthier. Yep. It's gonna be running more efficiently. Yep. And you're also gonna be, what are you doing with the emissions again? You're just. Obviously, so I've, I've got to recalibrate, obviously, because you've got, the DCAT system, so there are now obviously no longer cats in the way, so we need to basically tell everything to function without them. Right, okay. So, sounds, yeah. sounds, sounds very technical, but I'm excited to see the results and, and feel the results as well. Because once, um, once my tyres get come back with a new Michelin Super Super Sports, Pilot yep. Super Sports, yep. once they come back, not only is the car going to be running better, but it's also going to have the specific grip yeah, to actually, exactly. at the moment, my the car was down. almost undrivable. Like, right, the tyres right. that I came in with, and like driving on the wet, it was it was almost undrivable, and it was very unenjoyable to drive because you're just like yeah. tramlining everywhere, yeah, and fighting with it constantly. So I'm just excited for the transformation. It's just a shame that I come down here and it's just like there's no aesthetic changes. Like Sam came down yesterday, obviously changed yeah, the yeah, whole look of the air yeah. type, but it will happen. It will happen. Um, but for today, this is a lot more important just for the actual driving experience of the car. We are going for the lunch run in the Smurf mobile. Aston Martin, Dub Customs. Oh, oh, lovely. What a way to go to lunch. to compare it to the R8, I basically said this car never stops accelerating. And over the last month or so, I haven't been really been able to push this car or put the car down to, onto the tarmac as much as I'd have liked. But now, the car is transformed. Dub Customs, Gad Tuning and Michelin have transformed this car into something amazing. Oh my God. Well, I'm excited and I'm also hugely thankful to the guys down there for uh, the work that they've been able to do on the car. Now this is when things get exciting. Um, of course you may have seen or you may not have seen 
that at midday today, Supercars of London Clothing launched the website again. So www.supercarsoflondon.co.uk now has the store back on until the 1st of January 2016. So throughout November and throughout December, you can head over to supercarsoflondon.co.uk and check out all of the different products that we've got now. Beanies, hoodies, jumpers, t-shirts, all in different designs and in different colors. So I am super excited about the launch, but not only that, make sure that you're heading back on all of the social media platforms that both Wallace PJW, Supercars of London and SOL Clothing Co. because we have got some competitions, both global and UK wide competitions, which will include an opportunity to win a ride in the passenger seat in this beast. We've also got many, many giveaways to do, so opportunities to win free clothes, SOL branding merchandise, um, that's all going to be coming soon as well, so make sure that you are on the Supercars of London, the Coda UK website, make sure that you are also following all of the relevant social media platforms which are in the description below, so head over and smash those links so that you can be up to date with the latest SOL clothing news because I am so excited about this and it's now been five hours, but I'm filming this at 10 o'clock. I'm filming it two hours before the launch, but it uploads five hours after the launch, so I have no idea what's going on. The last time this happened, all of the t-shirts sold out in 12 minutes. There is no limited run this time, so it is only a case of a limited store, and it will go offline on the 1st of January 2016, and we're going to have lots of competitions along the way. No t-shirts are limited, so they're not going to be numbered this time. However, there is going to be a numbered slash limited run throughout December, so keep your eyes peeled for that as well. And I'm giving away all of the secrets that are happening to Supercars of London, so um, just make sure that you're following those accounts. I hope that you have enjoyed this video, and it was really, really frustrating for me to lose the light yesterday, so I'm back out today, and I'm filming the reaction video. It's just a shame that we didn't have Anthony from GAD in the passenger seat to see his work and experience it as well so I'll be back to GAD tuning and dub customs very very soon we are in talks with wrapping this car so um, if you've got any suggestions or any comments on what colour you want to see this Lamborghini then leave a comment in the comment box below and click subscribe because things are going to get really really exciting on Supercars of London over the next week or so when we head to Dubai so much stuff is happening and it is utterly utterly crazy also thank you for a quarter of a million followers on the Supercars Cars of London Instagram page. Thank you guys. It means so much to me that you guys are so supportive of everything that I'm doing at the moment. So um, yeah, a huge video for me. Many, many milestones and also a lot of cool projects that are happening. So, so I will let you guys enjoy the weekend now. I've got an awesome video coming tomorrow, which is the final video of the gold chrome Ford Mustang that we had in Germany, which was a lot of fun to drive. So um, I guess with that, thank you for watching. Enjoy the weekend and I will see you tomorrow.